Hi guys, welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And today's topic is a little a sad one for us. You know, we are in the states. You know, Texas, Florida, not the best states, but we're in the state. <laughs> <laughs> but we're today we're gonna talk about across the pond because y'all are our favorite people over there, and um, we're gonna talk about King Charles the Third. And, you know, he's had some health woes recently. Um, he was, I guess it was January. To now we're in February. I can't keep yeah. up. So late January yeah. or so, um, we found out that, you know, he was getting treated for an enlarged prostate. He has now been diagnosed with an undisclosed form of cancer, which is devastating to all of us for sure. But, you know, a lot of people have, you know, so many questions. So for our non-British uh, followers, in case you're wondering the line of succession, you know, we don't, we're not putting anything out in the universe. We're just informed, you know. Um, so obviously we know King Charles is King Charles, King Charles III. So here's the order. Next in line, Prince William, the older son of Charles and late Princess Diana, he is known as the Prince of Wales and is married to Kate, the Princess of Wales. Obviously, guys, y'all know them. <laughs> you know <laughs> them. Um, next in line is Prince George, older son of William and Kate, born July 2013. Princess Charlotte is next, daughter of William and Kate, May 2015, born May 2015. Next up, Prince Louis, younger son of William and Kate, born April 2018. And then it's Prince Harry the younger son of Charles and Diana, who has relinquished his royal duties, but retains his place on the line. Then after mm. that are, you know, his kids. Archie yeah. Batten Windsor was born uh, May 2019. Obviously, you know, with Megs and <laughs> um, Lilibeth, you know, oh, if you haven't seen her Lilibeth video, I know, shameless plug. Go check it out. Um, then Lilibeth, she, and she was born in uh, June 2021. So I'll just leave that out there. I mean, I think I think for certain, you know, we had talked about it whenever we were discussing the video before of um, the surgeries that mm -hmm. the likelier, you know, chances were that Prince um, Andrew, not Prince Andrew, <laughs> Prince Edward and Princess Anne um, would be the ones to like kind of pick up the slack um, because, you know, I mean, uh, it just seems natural that they would. Um, and I mean, it's crazy because like, I feel like, of course, if Kate weren't in her current situation, she probably would also be, you know, stepping up as well. Um, because, you know, a lot of like the purpose of having these counselors and all that stuff is for this very reason, you know, it's like in, in case of an emergency, you know, and um, so I'm interested to see like, it, what other information they provide if, you know, King Charles will continue to be transparent with um, everything that's going on. I have a feeling that he will, um, sure. just because so far, you know, it's been the case. And also, because I've already seen some headlines, I just haven't really read into it yet. What kind of a test will this be for William? Because he is next in line. Like you said, he's the heir. He's, you know, the one that would need to step up the most. So I wonder, like, how this will work, you know, for him and everything. Not only, not only because of, you know, the fact that he's the heir and having to step up for his father, simultaneously it simultaneously it is his father that is going through something like this and also simultaneously his wife is recovering from abdominal surgery while they have three little kids you know like it's a lot so i think that whatever people's feelings for william he's got a lot on his plate right now and so i think the same like i said extending harry some grace we should all extend william some grace because this is going to be a very difficult couple of months Definitely. And especially since he has to do, you know, step up for these royal engagements. Like, you know, nobody wants to party and, you know, you have all these things, which is public knowledge, mind you. Right. Going home and, you know, you're worried about your dad, you worry about your wife, what are your right. kids doing? Like, you know, it's, it's there's, there's no amount of worry that can, 
I mean, no amount of staff that can take away the worry. So, you know, there right. are people who That's true. Well, I mean, we are obviously praying for the king and hoping that, you know, he's able to recover swiftly, you know, and that everything goes well for him. I know. We'll keep you guys posted as soon as we know. You guys will know, but I'm sure you know <laughs> because you're five hours ahead of us. But, you know, you know what I mean. Right, right. <laughs> six hours <laughs> that concludes today's video guys let us know what you think in the comments um you know if there's other facts that we didn't mention in the video please let us know of course we're going to look into it because you know we want to know everything that's going on so we don't misinform and if we do if we said something out of place sorry we didn't mean it but you know <laughs> we've read a couple of articles um and, you know, YouTube is, is a little intimidating, okay? <laughs> but if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, yeah. please share our video. We're trying to grow our community, which we have, and we're very, very thankful. Uh, yeah. But, you know, still, your friends could be our friends, and we could all be friends. Uh, we also have social media, which Steele will tell you about. We're on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me Out DNE. So make sure you guys like, follow, share, and comment. We enjoy interacting with y'all. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.